Hey guys, Brian delivers you the goods here. I'm returning to you, well, almost late this morning for a album review. And this is for Avril Lavigne's The First Marathon album review that I'm starting for her discography, which is for the album Let Go that I just got done listening to. So I'm going to discuss what I listened to for this album and let you know my thoughts on it. So let's dive into this review. Now, I actually enjoyed the complicated song. That was a really good song. Uh, I've heard it so much on the radio a lot. <laughs> and Skater Boy 2 was pretty good too. Uh, the only ones that I may have had some issues with were probably My World, I'm With You, and Mobile. Those ones were... Mm, they were fine. Not something I would say is great. But, yeah. Uh, I think uh, I'm With You had really nice vocals from Avril Lavigne. But the song itself, it just felt a little lazy. Uh, just a little lazy. Not too lazy to where it's bad. Just... Uh, it has some moments where I cringed at certain parts. And the final track, Naked, uh, was a little cringy at times, but with some lyrics, but I still enjoyed the song. It was really enjoyable. Uh, Unwanted was really good. Anything But Ordinary was fantastic. I really loved it. Losing Grip was a great uh, song. Uh, the opener track, Losing Grip, was really good. Uh, it was kind of lengthy. Like, almost four minutes. So it was complicated. Complicated was over four minutes and some seconds. Uh, it was like four minutes and four seconds, if I remember correctly. And, uh, just... There were only, like, three songs that I may have had some issues with, but that was pretty much it. Uh, 10 out of 13 tracks are pretty good. Um, but Things I'll Never Say was another good one. My World just felt... Eh, it was a miss for me. It just didn't do so well over me when I was listening to it. Uh, Nobody's Fool was pretty good. Too Much to Ask was the second to last track on the album, and that was enjoyable for what it was. Uh, and yeah, Tomorrow, I didn't get to mention that one. Um, that was not so bad. Um, pretty much Avril Lavigne's voice in this album was pretty good, and sorry that I breezed through a lot, a lot of the tracks that quickly, and... Uh, didn't go into more explanation about what I was listening to. I kind of got sidetracked a little by downloading uh, other albums to this phone. Uh, newer albums. And I was like listening to it while downloading music. So I really did get sidetracked. So I wasn't really giving it a good hard listen, which I'll have to come back and give it a good hard listen, but I heard most of it, and it's not so bad. This album is, like, almost 20 years old. It's gonna be 20 years old in two years. I think it came out in 2002, if I remember correctly, but yeah, 2002. Uh, I just looked it up on my Xbox. Uh, well, I just saw it on YouTube saying album 2002, so it is pretty old, but it was pretty good for what it was. I think Avril Lavigne's voice in this whole album was really nice and had some pretty spunky, uh, grungy moments with her voice. Uh, I guess you could say, I'm not sure, but... Uh, Skater Boy was pretty catchy with the, he was a skater boy, she said, see you later, boy, the thing and all that. It had a pretty good chorus. Um, 
wasn't sure what to think of it at first, Skater Boy. When I first heard it, I was like, uh, eh, this probably is not my favorite song. But throughout listening to it multiple times, I really do like it. And Complicated's just a smash hit. It's what made her very popular. Uh, and with her, with that single, it made... It rose to the charts of one of the best rock songs. Uh, love rock songs, I guess you could call it. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, I did enjoy anything but Ordinary and Things I'll Never Say. Those were my personal favorite songs. Um, and Naked's not too bad. It's the closing track. But I gave it a 5 out of 5 because I felt it was a strong track. Uh, overall, I think Avril Lavigne Let Go, the album, is pretty good. I wasn't hating it. Um, probably some tracks that I'm gonna probably say didn't, uh, do so well over me listening to it. But, uh, yeah, keep in mind, this is just my opinion. You don't have to agree with me on it. It's just how I felt when I was listening to the album. But first score, I think out of 10, I'm going to give it an 8.5 out of 10. This was a pretty good album. And I hope the next one that I listen to on Wednesday is pretty good. I think it's going to be called Under My Skin. Yeah, Under My Skin. I just went through my spiral notebook and looked at which album I'll be reviewing next. It won't be till November 4th, unfortunately, so you're going to have to wait at least another few days. Not too long, but I'm going to finish the Avril Lavigne Marathon album reviews on November 11th, which is Veterans Day. Uh, but, yeah. Um, anyways, comment below. Let me know what you guys thought of the Avril Lavigne album, Let Go, if you've heard it. And if you like this uh, first marathon album review I did for Avril Lavigne, Let Go, comment below and let me know your thoughts on it. Tap a like on this video if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you can to support the channel. I will be returning to you for the Mandalorian Season 2 Episode 1 of review it's probably going to be tonight sometime i gotta see what i'm uh doing tonight for it i'm gonna be watching it i'm just recapping through season one again and what i watched that way i have a clear understanding of what i'll go into with season two with a pretty good mindset and all that uh with how i'm gonna think about it like what i'll think i'll like about it or whatever because i do like the mandalorian that's a really good show on disney plus so if you don't have disney plus i would get it just for that show or you could just watch it online uh because it is available online uh if you want to, <laughs> of course. <laughs> Sorry about the ding. Uh, it's my phone. It does that a lot. But I hope you did enjoy this Avril Lavigne Let Go album review. I did the best I could to make it as good as possible. Um, and I'll do Under My Skin on Wednesday. Then the best damn thing's going to be on Saturday. And the 9th will be the Goodbye Lullaby. And on the 11th will be the self-titled, and that's pretty much it. Because I already reviewed Head Above Water, and I guess I probably didn't do a great job on the review, but I felt that there were some pretty strong tracks on the album. Except for the Nicki Minaj feature, <laughs> of course, because that wasn't that good. Um, but... Yeah, thank you for watching this uh, Avril Lavigne Let Go album review. I hope you enjoyed it. Stay safe, take care, and I'll see you in my next video.